when you need to edit a video, but your headphones don't work, duct tape works wonders. So here we are, vlog nine. I can't believe that I made it this far. When I started out, I wasn't sure I'd get more than two videos posted before it'd become too much, but here we are nine vlogs later, and I'm still going, that's pretty cool. And I'm really excited about what this channel could be, because YouTube has limitless potential, and I wanna talk a little bit about reaching your potential here today. The potential, everybody has this potential when they start out. I have two little kids and a third baby on the way. That new life it could become anything. It can grow, it can it can become, she, she could become a doctor, a scientist, she could become an amazing mom, she could become so much, and I'm excited to see what her life becomes. But when I look at her, when I look at those ultrasound pictures, I see potential. Maybe there's an area in your life that you wanna grow better at. You see a potential for gifting there. I want to talk about how to do that and what it takes to grow skill in a specific area. Most of us think that that potential is met on a straight line. We have a skill we want to grow, we want to do it over time, and we think it happens in a straight line where over time, if we continue to work at it, our skill will progress in a straight line. But I find that's not exactly true. That that over time, skills don't develop in a straight line. You know, montages tell us if you just train constantly, you'll never have any setbacks or failings, but that's not the way it really works. It tends to work more like this. Maybe, maybe you start out naturally talented. You start out way up here above everyone else who starts out in the beginning. You start out here, and as time goes, you get better, and then you plateau. And then you realize that you're not using your gift anymore, you're not using your talent, so you start to work harder and then you plateau, and then you work harder until you've mastered your area. That's how it tends to work. But there's other people who, who start out at the very bottom, and then they work hard really fast, and then they, they work out, and then they, and then they work hard, and then, and then they never get to the maximum because they stop working. And then there's the other people who just go, I'm not even gonna try. So what is the key to breaking through your potential, the key is never giving up. No matter how long it takes, maybe your line looks like this, you just gotta keep going until you can reach the maximum in that area. You gotta work at it, you gotta want it more than you've wanted anything else. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 13, 4, that lazy people want much, but get little and those that work hard prosper. You need to work at whatever area you want to succeed at. Your potential is only capped by your ability and willingness to work at it. There's this lie that you can be talented enough to get it without effort that the world tells us. But great men and women always work. You know, as a, as a kid, I felt like I was terminally talented, like I was good at some things that I never really worked hard enough. So I ended up being a C student, an average wrestler, not as great as I feel like God intended me to be. And I don't want that to be the case with this form of potential, this YouTube channel. So I don't want to work hard. Proverbs 22, 29 says, do you see a skilled man at his work? He stands before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. People who have mastered their craft, who are the best in their field, they don't stand in obscurity. They stand with kings. And, and I don't care about my own fame, but I want to do my best for God. Romans 12, 11 says, never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Never be lazy but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. I want this channel to reach its maximum potential. So I'm putting in the time, I'm putting in the work. I hope you enjoy it. You know, I was having a rough day figuring out what to do today and if I even wanted to do it today. And one of my friends, Hannah, she was babysitting my youngest son, a one-year-old named Link, and she sent me a video of him watching 
something I posted earlier in the week. And he was just laughing and saying, da 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 and it was the encouragement I needed. So if you wanna send me some love in the comments below, go ahead, be sure to like this video, subscribe. I love you guys, thanks so much. I hope you're enjoying the kind of stuff I'm putting out. Don't give up, reach your potential.